Hello everyone, and welcome to, uh, well, a little one-off. Nothing too crazy. Uh, today we're here to play through, well, the sequel to Final Fight. Final Fight 2, which, uh, I never played. After the destruction of the Mad Gear Gang, Metro City slowly returned to normal. Cody and Jessica went on vacation together, and Guy went back to his training schedule. Hagar also returned home and continued to rule Retro Metro City's mayor, but secretly the Mad Gear Gang, will gang was regrouping. Uh-oh. Sounds like the gears are going to be quite mad. <laughs> Who's that? That doesn't look like... Belger? I'm guessing. I don't know all the names. Now the Mad Gear Gang are ready to strike back at those who oppose them. They first moved to kidnap Guy's fiance, Rena. I didn't even know about them, and her father, Gen Ryusai. When Lena learns... Uh, re, when, Mackie. Okay, Mackie's... Oh, that's Mackie's sister. Interesting. Hello, this is Mayor Mike Hagar. Mike, it's me, Maki. You have to help me. The Mad Gear Gang have kidnapped my father and sister. What? The Mad Gear are back? But how? That doesn't matter. I found out that the Mad Gear are heading for Hong Kong, and I'm going after them. The Mad Gear Gang must pay for their crimes. I'll meet you in Hong Kong. Who's this dork? I owe you and Guy so much. Please let me go with you, Mike. Besides, I love kicking butt. Yo, Mike's eyes! So I've never played this. I did do a full playthrough of the original Fatal... Uh, sorry, Final Fight. Those are different franchises. Um, Final Fight. I did a playthrough of the original. Uh, and here we are going to be playing this version, which we will play on Expert. My attack button is going to be A, my jump button B, and my extra joy button will be, uh, I guess I can set it to, if I'm looking at my controller, X there. Uh, now you might be like, dang, you're going to play it on expert? That's kind of crazy. I may or may not have a game genie code in for infinite life. Um, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Well, infinite lives, rather. Uh, you know what? Let's be Maki. Because she's cool. I mean, Hagar's cool, but but I mean, Maki is really cool. She's in a variety of uh, games, uh, Street Fighter games, too. So the reason I'm playing this is quite simple. Uh, the story mode of Street Fighter VI looks to be essentially a new final fight, which is super cool. So as such, uh, I'm deciding I'm going to need to check out some stuff. To, it's to the point where um, they think that Carlos, that's the other guy's name, right? Uh, they think that he is a um, a cameo in one of the, the recent trailers there, uh, which of course we might actually get, you know, more about later because um, we have another thing. <gasps> oh my god, there's Chunners. What's up, Chunners? So yeah, I know very little about this one because of course there is no there is no arcade port. Also, let's do our super. Okay, so it's kind of a spinny kick. It does use life up though. Okay. So yeah, I've never um, played this because I played the arcade version of Final Fight One, um, but I've never played this because it's Super Nintendo only, which is a strange thing. You would think they would put this into arcades too, but I guess not. All right, so far expert doesn't seem to be too bad, but again, in the, you know, this is the the first stage here, and oh boy, here we go. So you can do like some sort of combos there, where you can kind of do two hits and throw. Can you guys come over here? Okay, so yeah, Maki is playable in uh, CBS, CBS Two, I think. Uh, and then later in Alpha 3, the PSP version. So, she is, you know... And she is Bushin Ryu. The whole thing, isn't it, that's that she and Guy are meant to be the Bushin Ryu, and they kind of fight out to see who's going to be the, the, the one who does it. Um, but they don't really want to. Because the whole thing about Bushin Ryu is there's only supposed to be one Bushin Ryu practitioner. But then Zeku's like, no, I actually don't care that much. I'm going to keep doing Bushin Ryu and not really care too much. Um, 
yeah, that's so I, I don't know much about the Bushinryu, which of course the Bushinryu is important because the new Bushinryu master is Kimberly. So obviously, you know, something happened. Oh, hello. Something happened for uh, Guy or Maki to not be the Bushinryu person. So, and here I am, of course, talking deep about Street Fighter lore. Whereas I know there's a lot of people who don't even really consider it existing, right? Like, there's a lot of people I know who just don't care. They they do not care about Street Fighter lore, they just want to play the game. I don't know, I'm of, the, I'm of the person where I like my fighting games having story. I think fighting game story is a lot of fun. Because it gives context to everything that you do, you know? So really, it seems like it's only if they really get onto another plane that it's a problem, right? Alright. I still love how they give these guys names, like that was Bull. I was gonna say, do I need to break the door or something? Break the wall? Okay. So far, yeah, Expert is not that bad. I put on the infinite lives because I was seriously like, how would I do it? Because uh, uh, the reason I'm doing it on Expert, whoa, calm down, Streets of Rage. Uh, one of the reasons I'm doing it on Expert is apparently the true ending is locked behind Expert. So I obviously need to, I want to see what the true ending is, so we'll play through. And apparently it's, it's a rather short little nice experience. Which is why I really like arcade games, uh, specifically like arcade fighting games and beat-em-ups. They're just a nice, short little experience. You can play through a whole game in, you know, a little bit of time. Johnny. He's Johnny. Alright. A little soft drink. Nondescript Coke brand. Right? I call it pop. I know that's a huge market contention. Like, what? what is it? Is it pop? Soda? Is it cola? What does this guy have? What, why does that guy have tuning forks? What's up with that? Is he gonna... Is he gonna tune a fish? Hey, I like how the grabs are so instant. So, yeah, so we do have a special move, but the special move consumes HP, which is, yeah, par for the course for these types of games, right? You pop your special move with, uh, with HP. Going up the stairs. Oh, ship to Shanghai. I completely forgot we're in Hong Kong. Barbecue! So is... Is Maki, like, just really good? Because I feel like her moves come out so fast... That as soon as they start getting hit, like, what, what can they do? Of course, you know, judging by how I know these beat-em-ups, though, we're gonna get to level 2 and they're gonna introduce enemies who can do some stupid stuff, and everything will change. Right? That's just how these work. Like that! Leon here, the professional. Okay. I wonder if I can do the do the two hits turn, two hits turn. I wonder if that's Oh yo, it's the classic boats! I love these things. What the heck is that? Incense? Yo, we get her tonfa! Oh that's cool. No, give me back my tonfa! No! No my tonfa! Oh well that didn't last long at all. Okay, so we got unique weapons it seems. I bet you it's gonna be the pipe for Hagar. And maybe, well, I think Carlos has the sword on him, but maybe he actually starts to use it. Yo, it's Endor! It's one of the, it's uh, Hugo's brother, right? No, that's our first life. We actually got an extra life from, from points, which is a surprise. Nice. Yes, yeah, so that's Endor Jr. The uh, Hugo's family, all the Endors, Endwars. And they're large lads. Come on. I think that's uh, all. Of, all of his siblings are also color palette swaps. 
so you can you technically kind of play as them. Okay. There we go. Whoa, who's this dude? One, one, one? One, one, two? He's actually quite beefy. He's got them, them beefy. Oh, he's, he's, he's doing the little hops. He's like, uh... It's like Wang, Wang, Wang Chun from, uh, uh, you know, Jojo there. Again, I wonder if I could do one, two, one, two. Let's see here. Because the strategy I know is to go one, two, turn, one, two, turn. Well, we're dead again. There's a reason why we, again, played on a lower difficulty. How much HP do you have, bro? Do you see that? Am I doing something wrong? I feel like his- is his HP just invisible because he's a boss? Is that what we're doing? Ow. What the heck? Oh yeah, no wonder I- Okay, yep. We played on this for a reason. Okay, now he's starting to lose HP. Oh god! You're telling me that I was meant to do this, all that, already? In like... Okay. Might be easier to just... One, let him come over here, and then two, I'm gonna try and like... Get him in between the wall. Look at his little hops! Okay, let me try... Let me try the method. No! Stop going over there! We would have lost by time anyways. Come on. Come on over here. Come on. He's like very like... Okay, so... Yeah, yeah I definitely don't have the... The one-two turn combo. So that, that super move is invincible. Which is sort of why you use it. It's, it's a get off me sort of tool. And you might be like, it's not fair that you're playing with unlimited lives. But listen, if this was a, a proper arcade game, I would put in the money till I won. It's kind of how it works. Okay, so that, well, got me invincible, but that's it. Okay, that was, yeah, annoying. Round one, clear, and then she leaps. After defeating Wan Wan, Maki, Carlos, and Hagar learned that the Mad Gear's base of operations had been moved to Europe. Wan Wan told them that Rena and Genrai Siu, I don't know his name, being taken there. The final fight for the lives of Genryu Sai and Rena. That's it, Genryu Sai. France, 5 p.m. Ho <laughs> ho! We're starting at the Eiffel Tower! Do the shoes actually make me speed up? I can't actually tell. Two shoes, never worn, but French. So this dude looks like, this dude here, Atlas, he looks to me like he is straight up, like, with the Zangief tattoos, right? He's got the same sort of shtick going on. And, and uh, on Dwar, it's supposed to be like Andre, like Andre the Giant, of course, right? Okay. I kind of hate when they're off screen. I think that's the worst part. I gotta, I gotta let them come to me. Whoa. Nice. We'll take that. Thank you for hurting your friend. Alright. I want to get my tonfas back, though. I bet you, like, that's the, that's the, the way that you do this properly. Is you, you get the tonfas and you keep them for as long as you can to do the, you know, the most stuff. Okay. I do kind of like how a lot of modern beat-em-ups do the special moves, where now it's, you do the, the, the special, and then it becomes, like, red health. So, it costs health, but if you don't get hit or attack the opponents enough, you, you keep the health, right? You get it back. I think that that's a smart way to do it. Okay. One thing I should do, also, yo, Sprite Flicker, my beloved. Uh, I'm gonna just gonna double check. I'm gonna look up 
Final fight to Maki moves. I'm going to check to make sure that there isn't anything that I am missing. Because, you know, if there is a special feature with her and I get through the whole game without it, that won't be good. Okay. Basic jabs. Jumping. Jump kick. Back four. Oh, wait, no, that's the same thing. Ready elbow. D plus A during jump. What is D? Sorry, there's a D button. Oh, down? Down plus A during jump. Okay, so we. she seems to have... Little sister. Spe okay, so grapple moves. Jump plus A. Consumes a part. You cannot perform if you only have a sliver left. So she has a special... So she does have a special grapple. Okay. She does have a wall jump. If you are near a actual wall, then jump when you reach the wall. Other than that, she kind of doesn't have anything else other than a... Yeah, no, that's that's literally it. That's that's literally it. Other than... Yeah, so well, I did something there. I wonder how that, that wall kick would work there. I wonder if it's one that, again, you have to kind of do... From, from a wall that's sideways there. Yeah, and I'm trying, trying some certain stuff. That's a spin there. So let me try the, the super grab. Okay, so let's, let's go like... Hmm. Okay, so yeah, you can, you can just press it to do this. Oh, well, here's a wall. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Help. Oh, yeah. It's a pretty good little kick, too. Ow. This is another... This is, oh, this is proper Andor. So you can kind of cancel even the last hit into a jump. Oh, yeah. You can kind of go punch... Da, 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 da. Okay, okay. But yeah, other than that, she doesn't seem to have any sorts of specials or anything of note. Which, hey, that's good for us because that means I can't screw it up. Right? Like, her gameplay is basic, and that's fine. <gasps> Whoa, I was kind of doing the combo there. Yeah, you can go, like, one, two, and then turn around. If, you're, if your timing is perfect, that's how you, you play this game perfectly. Which is really funny, because they, they put that in, then, uh, to, like, the super combos for, like, uh, Cody. For Street Fighter. What what is this guy? Like just just a dude with with electric stuff. What a strange enemy design. Well, it seems to work. Okay. I do like how they make noises specifically when they die. <gasps> milk. Get that milk. You know I keep that milk on me. Okay. It is really funny, though, that, you know, like, uh, you know, Final Fight here is a... It is a it is a game supposed to be set in America, and yet, like, more than half the cast are ninjas. Right? Like, Mike Hagar and Cody are unanimously, like, hyper-American characters. But, like... Then you got Guy, you got Mackie, even Carlos is rather ninja-like. Right? It's just, it's just a thing. Okay, there we go. And, oh, I was going to be cool and do, do the jump kick. I was going to be cool and do the jump kick. Can you die, buddy? Nope. There we go. Break that. Where are my Tomfas at? Where my Tomfas at? Okay. 
Okay. So I am playing with like a proper like classic style controller, I'll say. And let me just tell you, playing playing a game like this with like a, a D-pad and you know proper proper buttons like old school style, it's not a Super Nintendo controller. It's the uh, retro the the eight bit do M30, which is their uh, Sega. I think it's their 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 Sega Saturn controller technically. Uh, the, the the six button Sega Saturn there. It is so good feeling. It's just one of those things where when if, if I wanted to play a classic game, I want to play it classically. Which means no, I'm not actually using a bite stick. But I mean it's arcade like, so it's it still counts. Aeroport. I also oh G and or. Oh man, how many how many of these oh, how many of the brothers are coming out? Oh my god. Is this why Hugo's at the construction site? Because here we are, like the construction site, and you know, it's in Hugo's there in uh, in the Street Fighters. That's kind of cool. Are you are you like the boss? You seem to have a lot of HP. Okay. So of course, this is a game that can be played two player. Uh, I unfortunately do not have someone to play two player with, which I'd say is a shame. But like, it's it's fine. I don't know many people who would. My, my tastes are, are very singular. I will say, though, I was someone who managed to... I had a class where I, I taught kids how to play Garo. It was great. It was really good. Because, like, showing them an old-school fighting game and having them immediately go, this is the best, is the best. Okay, there's got to be Tonfez in there. I'm calling it now. Oh, no! All right, let's see here. Yep. Stop. I want it. Okay. So it extends my range a lot, but gives me like a, 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 a starting up. Does she spin with them, I wonder? No. She sp spins with her foot. That just makes sense. Okay. It is, it's actually, I mean, it does a lot of damage, but it's actually tough to hit with because of the timing, right? Which is the whole point, I guess, right? It's its meant to be like a, I'm not going to say risk versus reward, but it is balanced, I guess. Man, Tonfas are kind of cool when you hold them this way in particular, right? Specifically when you hold them at this angle, it's like, dang, how cool you be. Look at these dudes just hanging out, and we come in to bust up their chops. I don't know why it disappeared so quickly last time, when this time I've had it followed a couple times and it's been fine. Okay. It also only does one hit, of course. Nice. Good preemptive one there. I didn't even know he was coming. I just guessed. I just guessed. I'm playing the mind games, I'm guessing. He's either gonna go up or down, right? So you gotta you gotta you gotta make that 50-50. And I I made it right. Okay, good. Bam, get on through. The 680. Alright. Gone? Nope. Big meat. If I leave that there, will it disappear? Nothing gives me anxiety more than disappearing items in old school video games. Like, how dare you? Okay. Okay, there it goes. Okay. We did pretty good. We didn't get it to the boss, but we did pretty good there. So, it it is interesting, kind of, how Final Fight in particular feels different from the others. It feels way more... I don't know, how can I put this? Like, mooks are combo fodder, and yet you don't really have access to ma major combos. At least with this character, right? I feel like there's a chance that in other other ones you have more moves. Look at all these guys with their airplane. Okay. Alright. 
bit weird that they're just here chilling. You know, they're like, hey, yeah, you know, we're doing our stuff. Look at this large Guile! Freddy. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Freddy. I guess I got an extra life, even though I really do, but that's fine. Don't worry about it. Let me get the highest score known to man. So he has a blue life bar. Am I gonna have to go through all the way and get like a get like him to green and then do more? Let's see here. Cool, big whiff. Oh, Freddy is um very Freddy looks okay, never mind. Freddy looks literally like Zangief. Freddy looks like some some American Zangief clone. Like, like the Americans cloned Freddy as, as, a, as a way of, you know, making fun of Soviet-era hero Zangief, the Red Cyclone. He's got the same... the same chest hair. The same musculature, the same beard. I wouldn't be surprised if this was an alt costume in a Street Fighter game eventually, right? Now, the interesting thing is I think most of these enemies do have official, um... God, yeah, no, now he's he's still got HP. I think these characters do have official bios on the Street Fighter V uh, site. Because Street Fighter V had character bios for, like, everyone known to man. Uh, every, even characters that you would never think were canon. And, yep, they all have bios. And so, as such, it's like... I'm pretty sure Freddy would where they give him modern art and all sorts of stuff. Can you not? Thank you for being directly in a place I couldn't attack you. Okay. Approach me. Wait, I was doing it. So I think it's one, two, three with her. I think it's a one, two, three turn. Okay, let me try that. Come on. Not always. Hmm. Okay, well, we did that. Yeah, bit weird Guile's just kind of chilling here. Oh, frick. Break car. Okay. Can I get up? Thank you. Oh, we have unlimited time because I did the timer scam. Great. Okay. Uh, huh. Is that supposed to give me, like, life or something? We did it. Are we going to get... Oh, my car! Is he coming back? Perfect. Absolutely. Oh, no. No. Oh, my car! Holland? I don't know. I never assumed Holland looked like JRPG. Those are mines. I thought those were items. I never assumed Holland was JRPG-like world. Can you walk on that, buddy? you guys? Okay, so I guess they can't step on the mines. They are smart mines. Which is surprising for Holland. I don't know. I always imagined Holland a lot more greener and nicer. I'm not playing with a color filter. You know, I'm playing with just a, a Super Nintendo screen filter. Which is, of course, the way it was intended. I know there's some people who are like, Ah, it makes the game so ugly. Why are you using a scan filter and, you know, flickering and all that? To which I say, shut up. I'm playing games like I remember playing them as a kid. And if you are a youngin who always had an HGTV for playing games, well, guess what? This is what it looked like, and it was great. Um, until we got to the HD era of consoles, and if you didn't have an HDTV, you literally could not read the screen. Uh, that was not cool. That was actually really lame. That was actually really bad. So, in that era, I didn't like that. But, uh... For, 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 you know, this era. It's great. 
trying to do the, the thing. Trying to do it. The 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 pow 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 pow. Right? Did not mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Okay. I can also do do grapple attacks. Right, if I if I just pound on it. Right, like I can do that too. Okay. Woo! Okay. Oh, come on. Don't put enemies here. Thank you. Oh, they can go into them. Very good. Thank you. And or, buddy. Can you walk into it? Can you be stupid? No, you're, you're not doing the thing that I wanted you to do. Thank you. God, all of you, huh? And yet... Not a Hugo in sight. Right? We got all the other ones. But we don't have Hugo. Cause I think I think these are Hugo's brothers. And then there's there's I think one more. I think. I think it's Hugo Andor. Uh Andor Jr. and G Andor, which is again really funny. I mean, I guess the implication is that and well, because yeah, his name is Hugo Andor, so I think it's I think, you know, Andor is their, their name, but then what is, what is Andor Jr.'s name then? Is he just, is he Andor, is Jr. his name? That'd be wild. Imagine naming your child just Jr. on its own. Thank you. Ow. And we died, but it's fine, because we can do this. Step on the thing. Really? What a strange enemy. And his name is just Flick. Which I guess was the name of the... Wasn't that the name of the, the bug in A Bug's Life? Flick? And wasn't he... Like, isn't there the picture of him acting like a little sad boy with the, with the bindle? That's such a funny picture. I love it. Okay. It's such a grapple-heavy, like, belt-action game that is the genre. For those of you who don't know about belt-action. Okay. So, yeah, I used uh, some some Game Shark codes for Unlimited Time and, un and uh, Unlimited Lives, which, uh, I mean, hey, Game Shark is... It's a thing that you pretty much need to buy as a kid to beat these games. I mean, you could theoretically get skillful enough. But I'm gonna be honest, I don't even understand where the skill comes from. Like, it's just one of those things where, you know, unlike fighting games or other games where there's depth to be obtained from it, I don't know, maybe there is some, some depth to be had from the, the belt action genre here. I love that name so much. Cause it's you're scrolling on a large belt. It's so good. So even slowing it down does not necessarily So Hmm. Oh. What a little elevator. Are we in like a grain silo? Okay. Alright, alright. Uh-huh. Can I move? Now I can. Thank you, Robert. Can I can I knock him down that hole, I wonder? Can I have you guys come up here and then Come on, come on, get up here. Uh I don't I don't think so. It doesn't seem like it. So, I want there to be, like, the, the, you know, idea that in later, you know, like, the, the Mad Gear gang cloned everyone. Oh, and by the way, I won't be playing Streetwise. I, I just, I, I do not have the time nor the care to play Streetwise, which is apparently canon. Because uh, the, the, the characters from Streetwise do get entries in the Street Fighter V all-character manual. 
which is wild. That's gotta be my Tonfa. No, it's a knife! Oh, goodbye knife! Well, the knife is, is a one shank and you're done, huh? How come these guys have so many knives that can last so many hits, and yet we don't? Whoa! Oh no! Don't give me the- don't give me the grabbies! I do like in, like, Street Fighter when they give them their special moves, like the, uh, their, you know, their desperation moves there. Uh, it does cost HP. Like using, uh, Hagar's Lariat or, you know, Z Zangief's Lariat, who he learned from Hagar. You know, those cost HP, and I love it. Well, in some games. It's a nice little reference. Some of those, like, meta, meta narrative ideas that I love. So this is one of a few games that are 100% confirmed set in, like, the Street Fighter universe. Like, at this point, it's 100. Uh, whoa, that's cool. Like, you know, like, super 100% confirmed. Like, yeah, Final Fight is Street Fighter at this point. Um, but there are a few more. You know, we have Rival Schools. We also have um, uh, Captain Commando. Which I will probably be playing sometime in the future, too, because that's in the Capcom beat em up collection, and I want to play that, too. I just want to play a lot of these old-school Capcom games. I love the fact that the extended... Well, I mean, you know, the, the um, Project Justice slash... Um, oh, what am I thinking of the name? What's that one? Why can't... I know Project Justice is the one. Rival Schools. Um, like, they, they had uh, both Ran Hibiki as well as um, uh, Sakura there from Street Fighter. So it's like, it's not really a big deal that it's, you know, Street Fighter. But now we, you know, have 100% confirmation that, yeah, it's like super confirmed. And I mean, there was also the cameos in um, uh, Street Fighter V with the, the characters from it on the beach stage. The implication is that, like, Karen or Kareen, as some people call her, um, you know, invites her, them to, to her place nice i like it don't get don't don't question the ages of them though like why are they still in school when you know soccer is clearly an adult now don't worry about it don't worry about it that's just one of those video game things you have to pretty much stop thinking about so yeah okay once he gets moving just stop there just just let him just just or rather once he gets moving you have to stop him like that. I'm trying to do it. I know the timing is very tight. For the... See, like, I was doing it there. It, it works better when there's an opponent behind you. Like that. Yeah, when there's an opponent behind you, you can use it effectively. Okay. Because then you can go, like... Oh! Oh! Wait a sec, wait a tick. I had it there, I had it. Okay. Come on, come on. One, two, one, two. It's, uh, it's tough when there's a lot of them, because the, 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 the hit stun is so much. Yeah, and it, it, so if you start doing the extra hits, then you're, you're kind of screwed. And you don't want to press forward, because then that does the throw. Stop, 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 stop. Speaking of throws. No, stop! Yeah, if you start doing the extra ones, you, you can't do it. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. B eight hit maga a wrench okay not a weapon even though it could be okay oh geez okay so you're not invincible during throws 
Okay. Ooh, okay, so you can kind of just go back and forth and continue to do stuff. Did I roll over to zero lives? It's a good thing that doesn't work like that. So you can just kind of rock back and forth and you can do it. Okay. At least I was able to there. Okay, the back and forth there actually works really good. Okay. Okay, all right. So we're we're I'm starting to get actually a little bit of of a of a feeling going here. Ow! I say as I get epically owned there. Yeah, let's finish you off. G and war. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm starting to feel that. Where are you going? I'm not controlling you. Oh. 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 Okay. The sewers. So it is, it is very much a timing thing. Okay, okay. I love learning tech just on the fly. Yeah, that makes it way easier to sort of do stuff. It is just learning the exact timing and repeating it there. The only, yeah, the difficulty comes in though when they start moving around and you have to kind of, you know, deal with it there also. What is this red man? Oh, he looked like entirely red with the color scheme. And it just reminded me of one of the funniest things I've seen people do, which is go into like people playing horror streams and be like, be careful. Don't wake the red man. And people are like, what? And then they just say, oh, you activated the red man uh, event run. And like just telling it to a streamer who knows nothing about a game. It's the funniest. Or like they'll just be like, you know, then, then, then they'll come back later and just be like, red man spotted. And they're like, what do you, what do you mean? It's so funny. It's such a funny idea. Just, you know, entirely gaslighting, you know, streamers. People wonder why I don't stream myself. It's not that. It's my internet. It's it's entirely my internet. That's why. Whoa! Hello, jump scare. Who are you? You are br 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 Bratkin. Who the frick is Bratkin? You look like Frankenstein, my dude. You look like a One Piece character. Bratkin. Like Bratkinstein? Is that what we're doing? What a weirdo with Ness's shirt. You're like the super version of Ness. Okay. These guys blow themselves up more than anything, huh? Okay, so I gotta be careful because it seems like one of my hits will almost always knock him out, even if it's not a final hit. Okay. Okay, all right. And these guys, these guys got flips and dips. Okay. Come on back in, bro. Come back in. Your range is too much. Okay. Come on. Oh, I'm trying. Oh, he's got the he's got the big lariat there. Uh, see, I don't want to throw you. Yo, Bratkin for his Street Fighter Six. I'm joking. Don't actually. Honestly, I I I'd be kind of fine with no more final fight. Street Fighter Five kind of final fighted me out. There was a little too much, just a little bit. He kind of has like the 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 um. The Abigail face a little bit. He kind of looks like Abigail in this portrait. Just a touch. Just a little bit. 
my Canadian boy Abigail. One of the few Canadian Capcom characters. One of the few Canadian fighting game characters. I love him. People, we are a, my, my friends, my community are a pro Abigail community. We love him. I love my roomy broom boy. Okay, let's let's try and do some some combos. I'm um, see I'm trying to do the turn there. It's not really working. Okay. God that range. Nice. Okay. Can't really turn backwards from that, huh? Ah, so I was trying to do it there. It's actually tougher with bigger characters, it feels like. Because their hitbox is kind of not normal. And may you know what? It might just be that bosses, right? Because they can break out of stuff. Great. Wonderful. Okay. Cool. Great. Okay, yeah, I'll just finish you off. Whoa, we've almost hit one million points! Which would, like, if this was, like, a 90s sitcom, everyone would be like, Whoa! One million points in Final Fight 2! That's impossible. And it'd be like, yeah, I'm somewhat of a gamer. And then the laugh track would play. It'd be great. All right, yeah, that was that was a little spicier. Just a little bit, just a little bit spicier. Where are we now? Oi, we're in England? Oh, dang. I, it'd be so funny if this, okay. Okay, so this is a, it's a, it's a plank. Okay, it'd be really funny if this level was just full of knife wielders. I mean, it's a stereotype that's like, you know, markedly not 100% true, but it'd be funny. Let's keep them away. I mean, I'm going, no worries. What is this kind of farty music, though? Like, wah. I mean, to be fair, that is just the Super Nintendo chip. The Super Nintendo's sound chip can produce some of the most amazing sounds to man and some of the fartiest farts, and it just depends on who knows how to use it. I mean, I guess that's this thing with all console, like, sound chips when we had consoles that needed their own dedicated sound chips, right? Nowadays, we just play MP3s of whatever we want. Like, it's different, but back at this time, the, you had to program it for the system itself and sort of deal with, you know, how how it sounds on it there. Okay. Stop, 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 stop. Whoa, we had one million points! Epic. How cool. I don't even know how this game's, like, continue system worked. If, if at a certain point it would just be like, nope, you're done. Or if you actually straight up need, you know, to do this in however many lives. Okay. Again, if this was an arcade game, I would just keep putting in quarters. I guess that's one of the reasons why, like, even at the end of the day, as I'm kind of getting owned in some cases, this still feels easier than a lot of arcade games. Because it, it literally does just have to come down to skill. And not, you know not be just put in money over and over. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk. I was gonna say, when are you gonna lock the screen, though? Whenever they're like, just keep walking, what are you doing? And then it's like, yeah, by the way, you gotta kill all the enemies. It's like, well, that's why I was trying to kill them before they could, you know, get to be too much for me. Okay, ooh, my man's got flips. Okay. Okay, we, we were doing pretty good there. 
So it feels like different enemies have different ease ease of doing the infinite on them, you know? Again, I love that this is pretty much the final fight characters when they have to do like a super combo. They pretty much, they will turn around as part of the combos. It's a reference to this infamous exploit. Is it an exploit or is it a technique? That's the question, right? Because a lot of stuff that people used to say, oh, like combos were born out of like they they were they were an exploit that turned real. And then you learn it's like, no, they actually super not. They were they were intentionally programmed. Right? You learn that, that is that was a big lie. Okay, let's go. Come on. Oh my goodness, sir. I'm trying to do the combo on you, buddy. It's not working. You have so much HP. Oh yeah, it is just like perfect timing. How much HP do you have? Okay, we finally broke through to your real HP. I don't think I like that mechanic. The hidden HP. Like at least do two bars on top of each other so I can see it whittling down. Right? Okay. Come on. Nice. Oh, we hit 10. The trains are rolling. Are, are we, are we, are we, get, there we go. I was going to say. And of course we don't go in the train. We go on the train because what's, what's a fighting game? What's a, what's a belt action game? without a, a train or elevator. Now the question is, are there going to be signs that come up that we have to avoid, right? How classic we go in here. See, one thing I'll say, there's a notable lack of throwing enemies off of things. Um, you know, I was watching the, well, I watched a bit of the 10 hour reviewing every final fight ever. Or, no, a Double Dragon, rather. God, all these games with the same sorts of names. Um, I watched that video, a bit of it, probably about two hours of it, uh, of, of, the, of 10. And it really was like, yeah, it seems like a huge part of that is being able to knock enemies off or lure them into things, right? Whereas this doesn't have it as much. Oh, my God. We nearly, we, we nearly had it there. The perfect infinite. It does come down to your own personal dexterity at the end there, huh? Like, it does come down to how perfect are your timing. I wonder if it's, like, one frame or if it is, like, like you have a little bit. It feels kind of lenient. I guess the anti-leniency comes in the fact that, like, it's so easy to accidentally press the direction to throw them, right? Because you just got to walk close enough and press forward. Right? Or press backwards in the middle of a combo at the wrong moment. Right? Okay. Alright. Yeah, there, there'd be no way I would be able to do this, though. Just from, the, from on expert? No way. Maybe on normal. Maybe on normal, actually, because if it would just simply reduce the amount of HP enemies had, maybe I could see that happening. Potentially. So far, though, I'm going to say I don't think there's anything here that really sets this apart as better than the original uh, final fight. I think the original thematically and being one city that you go across kind of made it a bit more... I don't want to say better, but I just preferred it because of the fact that you had, like, you know, it's it's one city with each of the sections, especially because, you know, now we're going to get to explore that city in 3D, which is going to be very fun. The, so the, 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 the Little Wayne presentation for context is tomorrow morning for me, so I have not seen if there's any going to be any, like, cool Final Fight stuff in the, what I would assume would be a World Tour trailer, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. Okay.
So you can, again, do the grab into the, the special there, but it really doesn't do a lot. Okay. So you're, you're invincible at the end of your throw, at least. Nice, okay. Oh man, even Flick's getting into the green HP. Okay, just a little bit for him, though. Okay. There's not much of her moveset that really strikes me as Bushinryu, I'll say that, though. Right? Like, there's not much here that I look at. I mean, aside from that one, that, 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 that kick there, that's a Bushinryu kick. But I don't know, there's, there's not much that really strikes me as it. Maybe she uses a modified one? I don't remember 100% the story. Bull. <laughs> That's bull. I do like seeing the recurring mooks, right? It's silly that you battle the same mooks and they're the same person, but it does give an air of, like, you know, you can sort of start to point out who is who. And so then later on, oh goodness, you know, later on you could be like, when when the cameos, you know, kind of start to become cameos more, you can be like, oh my god, look, it's, I'm playing a game years later and there's Bull, right? Uh, who's heading this train? Okay, good, I was gonna say, if that's just the end of the train, where are you going, ma'am? It's a freaking clown, it's Philippe! Sorry, why is Philippe not in France? We had a France stage, and you're telling me that there is a clown called Philippe, and he's in the London stage? Uh, and he has he has the, the, the sweep? The, 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 the long dive one? Okay. Uh, full expectation, Philippe is in the same league as uh, Q and uh, G, calling it now. He's, he's another one of them. That's, that's the secret lore. He's got the cane. He's gonna be like JP. Wait, Philippe has rather low HP. Is he not the boss? Because he's already down to... Is it? Is he fast and so he has less HP? Is that what we're gonna be doing? Because he's already almost kind of done. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, he was the easiest boss too. That feels out of order or something. That's a bit strange. Round clear. All right. Bonus stage. Break drum. Ready? Okay. I, I guess this kind of comes back as of uh, Street Fighter 2, right? With the, the barrel breaking game. Okay. Okay, this one... Seems doable by a human on first attempt. Well, depending on how many of these there, you know, how many there are. Okay. Well, if that's the end of the music, then it would be to them. Okay. Yeah, that would have been possible. Perfect. Okay. Alright. We're in Italy. Really? We're gonna see Rose here? It actually looks a lot like Rose's stage, which makes sense if we're in Venice. Right? That's just making sense. I love... Okay, I really like using the arches for a natural sort of frame. That's really smart, right? It's a simple thing, you know, locks the screen in place, gives a bit of a, bit of a look. Man! Again, though, if you want to look at where, you know, where, where, where did Capcom get its inspirations from? Even looking at this, a lot of this reminds me of JoJo, right? The Italy, the fact that we had the Wang Chung hopping guy, right? Um, and, and we know, we literally know, like they said that Guile was based on Stroheim. You know, we had the idea of... Um, what else was there? So we had Guile based on Straheim, we have, uh, Jury based on Jolene, right? Like, these, these are confirmed things. Um, Rose based on Lisa Lisa, even with, you know, this being her stage. 
Like, it's it's an undeniable aspect of it. There was a few more. Um, well, I know uh, Bison is taken from another manga. Um, I forget, though. I was just looking at some. About all the, the inspirations for uh, Street Fighter in JoJo. Oh, uh, Guile's Sonic Boom was a, um, the, the sandstorm that Wamu does. That was confirmed, too. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff like that. So is it just me or have the Tomfas kind of stopped appearing? Maybe there's secret routes that I don't know about. I guess that's one of my problems with some of these old games is that like, yeah, if I do a playthrough like this, one playthrough isn't enough to learn the secrets. These games are made to like, you, you pick them up and you play them a million times and you know, you learn secrets by complete accident or by buying the Nintendo Power Guide for it, one or the other. Okay. I do kind of wish she had some special moves. Uh, apparently there is supposed to be a new slash remastered final fight coming out that was leaked on the, the, the old Capcom Super Leak, uh, which may or may not end up not happening because that was pre-COVID time and uh, the, the Capcom leak there has uh, you know, a few things that haven't been announced yet, a few things that are a bit confusing if they would get announced. Oh, you throw the knife! Oh, interesting. I was thinking you stab with it, but that's just me. Licks. Okay. Oh, this dude's guarding. Nice, okay. It is wild how much more HP they're starting to get, though. Like, it really feels like they're cranking it up. Can you... Can you stop? I do find it interesting. It feels like Expert... At least from the difficulty from what I've played, it feels like the difficulty is less starting at, like, you know, above where Hard ended. It feels like it starts at... It starts at, like, you know, uh, as the same point, and then just ramps up even more, if that makes sense. It feels like it just gets exponentially more difficult, and not necessarily that it starts at the same difficulty. Whoa. Right, it feels like the, it feels like all difficulties probably start at about one, and if, if easy ends at a three and normal ends at a... Two, or sorry, four. Numbers are hard. Shut up. I'm not doing this. Regardless, it feels like then this goes up to a ten, right? Because, like, how, how, how would I beat these guys without knowing how to do it? Okay, now we can go down. I forgot there's a wall there. I could have done my wall stuff. Yo, a boat. Yeah, there we go. A little wall jump technique. I wonder if she has that in, uh... The fighting game appearances. I would assume so, because Chun Li has that technique. So if, if Chunners has it, and she kind of always shows up, right? You're not gonna have a game without her. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have that. There we go. Boy, that is useful. It's not perfect, but it's good. Pop, pop, right on the right on the back. Ooh, not invincible though. It's also super not like much stronger than the rest of my moves. Okay. Yeah, this is blue jeans, blue blue jeans junior. So so that the junior here doesn't actually have less HP. I assume they were they were organized by like by how strong they were, but it really does not seem to be that as the case. Okay. I tried. And pow pow. 
There we go. I'm trying, I'm trying, but I'm, I'm trying to slow it down to see if I can do it a bit slower, you know? Doesn't seem to work. Seems the best way to do it is literally to do it and just mash back and forth. Right? It, it, it that is that feels like the most consistent way. Okay, come on, buddy. I'm honestly, I'd be more concerned for the time limit. I feel like I don't know how you would do this in time. I feel like you don't do enough damage if it's only 99 seconds. I guess like what a minute, minute and a half on the stage. Well, then again, it might not be real seconds. <laughs> They're watching me. What a lovely show same people are there again. They're twins. What a pair of knife dorks. Leon and Robert. Wonder if that's a reference to their the 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 currently, you know, feuding uh, you know, Fatal Fury and Final Fight. Shout outs to the the Fatal Fury games too. Those are other ones that I would say are a great little adventure. Very excited for the new Guru. Very excited. Mark here has such a nice little smile. He's like, he's just so happy to be here. Look at him. He's just happy to, he's happy to be part of it. Or is it Mick? No, there's, no, that's Mark. And that's Mick. Okay. And then there's Flick. How many Flicks? Jeez, what is this? Uh, I, I need a net for these Flicks. I'm actually very shocked there has not been a uh, a Final Fight cart. Well, I was gonna say a Final Fight cartoon. There was a one episode of a Final Fight cartoon uh, in the Street Fighter cartoon, but I mean a Final Fight uh, movie. Because well, I mean they're doing a Streets of Rage movie now, so it's definitely possible. In fact, I you know. We're probably going to see a, a number of them. They just announced a new Street Fighter movie by Legendary Pictures, so we'll see here. Honestly, I'm past the point of wanting good video game movies. Video games are mainstream enough. I don't, I don't really need them to be, you know, known by my grandma. Instead, I am fine with them being dumb, trashy flicks. Yeah, just maybe not as trashy as Monster Hunter because, oh dear god. Oh my god. The Monster Hunter movie might legitimately be one of the most disappointing things I've ever seen. Like, so much. There's like three monsters in the movie, and one of them is grossly misrepresented. Hello? Oh my god, you know what time it is, boys. It's time for some elevator action. And I've immediately lost my pipe. Very cool, or bored, or whatever the frick that's meant to be. As long as this isn't like the Kingdom Hearts elevator that if it gets too heavy it stops moving. I hate that. Okay. Okay. So wait, is the final stage going to be Japan then? Because then that... I mean, makes a lot of sense considering we're going to the place where Bushin Ryu would originate. go. Oh, that's it? I honestly expected three times the length. Okay. We're on the roofs. Is that Rolento? Yo, it's your boy Rolento! Or Roland. Is that Rolento's brother, Roland? Wow, how are you, how are you so fast? Oh, is his name Roland? And then it's meant to be like... Like the Japanese then would call him Rolento. Rolento is definitely a weirdo that I do appreciate existing. I really like him being like this weird, just army guy who has no real story other than being just Mad Gear's weird army loving dude, right? Who will absolutely literally hang you. 
Like, like looking at his moveset here, it makes sense why he got into Street Fighter. Like, some of the Final Fight characters I look at, I'm like, why, why you? Like, why you in particular? But when you look at his moveset here and what he can do, it's like, no, 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 that makes sense. That said, boy, you are a speedy boy. Speedy boy with a lot of HP. There we go. He was in Final Fight 1, wasn't he? So he's a returning boss, I'm pretty sure. Unless Roland is literally going to be, like, a, a another member of his unit. Like, it's like the junior version. Where it's like, you know, this 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 the this is the, the Roland troop that I have I've trained. Right? Like like this is in, in case I die, in case I get captured, like this is the lad who will take over for me. Nice. Trying to do my Okay. Okay, we got him down to green. Wubba wubba. He's in the green today. Yeah, I have no idea how you do this with, like, any amount of lives at this point. He's He is so ridiculously speedy. Shoutouts to anyone who decides to maybe count my, my number of lives. Uh, if you do that, I will cry, so don't. I mean, you can if you want to. I won't turn it away, but I'm also not going to make anyone do it, because that would suck. Whenever I see someone do a Let's Play and someone actually, like, does, like, a counter in the comments for, like, some mechanic, all I can think of is, dang, I wish I cared about any human on Earth as much as this person does, this YouTuber. Oh my god. He's popping his super. That is not fun nor fair. Oh my goodness. He's really playing Street Fighter now. Boy, he is just throwing them all out, huh? They're actually not the worst to dodge. They make it annoying because he's running around. Because they're not that big explosions. In fact, I think this is this is a really good place to use the the special here. To dodge him. And then he jumps up here, and then I pop this. Okay, that time it hit me. I think it has a very vertical hitbox, too. Okay. How do you get more than one hit in on him? Like, actually. Jumps up here. He's just so fast. Are you supposed to not counter hit him in the air? It feels like that's what's actually getting. Oh my god. Yeah, if if all expert does is jack up the HP, it's kind of a kind of a silly mode. Now the question is, will he still do his blow himself up when he loses technique? Nope. Okay. Round five, clear. As Roland laid on the ground, he told our three heroes something shocking. You must travel back to Japan where my master waits you. There you'll find the Genryu Usai and Rena, but beware, my master is the most powerful man in the world. Cannot be defeated. You will die. Ha ha ha. Okay, so I'm, I'm curious. Is Roland different than Rolento? Let me see here. Yo, that pattern is trippy. Okay, so I'm Googling it. Roland. Final fight. Uh, Roland. Um. I'm looking for an otherwise known. Yo, he was voiced by Scott McNeil. And then John St. John. Very good. Very good. Mm, I don't see him in. Okay, so Final Fight 2. Differences between versions? Apparently... Wait, what? There's changes between Japan. Mary and Eliza were replaced with Leon and Robert? Oh my god, there was hot... There was hot girls originally, and then they got replaced with Leon and Robert? That is embarrassing. 
dang, okay, that sucks. I kind of miss them because I thought their sprites were kind of stinky. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's continue here. Let's finish up. I'll, I'll read through some of their pages after because it's always something I'm curious about, the enemy pages, right? See see what, what, their, what their shtick is, if they've ever appeared again or something. So yeah, apparently in the Japanese version, uh, those two were knife girls and they replaced them with dudes. And then one one apparently had a meat cleaver, which, yeah, I mean, looking at his design, I he felt like he was missing something. But then again, you know, I need to play a game in English to get the story, so. Thank you for blowing up. And even the names Mary and Eliza, like, those are, those are names that are similar to... I, I was confused because, specifically, um... They were names that were also used for Street Fighter characters. You know, Eliza being uh, Ken's wife there and Guile's sister-in-law, if I'm correct. And Mary... There has to be a Mary. I can't think of the Mary right now, but there's absolutely someone named Mary. I do find it funny that the extended Street Fighter universe is so big that legitimately, like, they can't... They can't keep track of all of them. So yeah, you were apparently a, a cute knife girl. Which is weird, because uh, them beating up a girl is fine, but I guess they didn't want Hager beating up girls. It's a bit of a shame. It was it was a, definitely a weird era. I mean, I mean, oh, do I need to say anything about what, what they all did with Poison, right? Because I was going to say, the Knife Guy's sprites look a little bit jankier. Like, they, they look not right. And it's, yeah, literally, they are they are out of place. Unlucky number. Watch it just, like, crash the game for getting 13 lives. One of those things where it's like, sometimes there's just an arbitrary thing in a video game. Like, getting so many lives or hitting a block for a certain number of years breaks a game. I like that stuff. It's silly. I like silly game development stuff. Okay, so let's try our... Thank you. Oh, we had that timing nearly down. I mean, we're still doing pretty good. I feel like the only way to beat this on Expert would be to know about that technique. Like, legitimately. Okay. Thank you. How much HP did that do? That should have done... That did, like, a pretty good chunk, actually. Okay. And then... Pow, 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 pow. Nice, okay. Ah, uh, see, so I was trying to, trying to, trying to just hold and counter him right as he ran at me. There we go. We going in? We are. Maybe? Yes. Okay. I mean, uh, I feel like these guys don't have passports. How would they get here? Okay, so here's the thing, and I, I, it's something that, that does legitimately, like, bother me. Like, I make a joke about that, like, oh man, how did these guys get here? They don't have passports. But the fact that there, there are people who would look at that as legitimate criticism over the game... Like, I really want to stress that I am not actually using that as criticism as a negative for the game, because that's like a, that's like a plot hole or something. Because it's a beat-em-up video game by Capcom, I am not going to legitimately look into it like that. Um, I'm definitely of the type that sees video games as not needing to be realistic and following the rules, you know, quote-unquote rules of reality. Uh, no, I don't think these characters need to have passports and stuff, right? Like, it's, it's, it's a silly thing, but it is something that I know that there are people who legitimately they would look at that as a plot hole as a negative against the game, and it's just a strange notion to me. Like, at the end of the day, my friend, you are playing a, a old video game. Heck, even a new video game. Like, who cares? Video games aren't real. They're not real, dude. It's just for fun. 
I mean, and if they and if they do a joke about like, you know, you beat up an enemy and their passport flies out or something, or they're like, oh my passport, or like the enemies couldn't appear because their passport. That's funny. That's funny because you wouldn't expect that to be a thing. Not a required like, oh they need to tell us where they got their passport. I think Cinema Sins has done irreparable harm to uh, media literacy, right? Like, when I watch something and it's about, like, an anime character who has to take a flight and you actually see them, like, dealing with the fact that they may or may not have a passport, I think that's super cool. Uh, Fate uh, Zero has that, right? Like, that is a super neat idea and something I appreciate. But I'm not going to go and, like, knock a game because they're like, well, how did, how did this character get here without a passport? It's like, come on. Come on. Okay. I'm gonna try and Oh, so close I was doing it. I had the timing down. The problem is then sometimes I don't do the one, then he approaches. Alright. Okay. And then we're gonna go pa pow, pa pow, pa pow, pa pow. And what a large man. It's I it is interesting reading about like the history of professional wrestling in Japan in particular and how they like use the inspirations of a lot of them in stuff. Uh, I watched a very good documentary on Oh, I forget the name of the guy, but he's a very um a very large Oh Ab Abdul the Butcher! That's his name. A really great video on who Abdul the Butcher is and how he inspired like a million Pokemon. Or no, I mean a million characters in video games, including uh, ones from like Pokemon. Like Machoke is based on Abdul the Butcher. Um, and it's a really great video on, uh, you know, the origins of this, you know, archetype we see. Because Japan loved this, this foreign wrestler, man. And how, you know, he inspired a lot of things about, you know, a variety of media that we all see. If you've ever seen, like, a large, you know, sort of rotund but muscular man with three scars or marks on his head in a Japanese thing, which you, me saying that, you might be like, oh, yeah, yeah, like, like, uh, Karnov? Karnov from Fighter's History slash, uh, you know, Karnov, um... Like, that's an example. Like, he's he's explicitly based on Abdul the Butcher. And, like, it's, it's yeah, it's cool. It's it's a really cool video there. And so th you can almost do the same thing with, like, Andre the Giant. Because, you know, Andwar, Andre, right? Uh, you have, uh, you know, yeah, him him and Alex doing the, uh, the, the Andre the Giant slash Hulk Hogan intro, right? It's great. I love it. Honestly, video games, especially from Japan, especially of this era, wear their inspiration on their sleeve, and I really appreciate it because it it you know shows the the love that the the developers have for you know whatever they have in their life in the game, and I really like that. And there's people who would say that that's creatively bankrupt, but I heavily disagree. I think taking inspiration from and sort of picking and choosing, you know, what your what your inspiration is based on a variety of sources is super cool because it lets you combine them while still providing a bit of your own personal flair. Now, of course, if you're just straight up stealing stuff, that's lame. That's super lame. But, you know, it's sort of like how the, the, the recent uh, TMNT uh, Shredder's Revenge has, like, characters who use moves from Street Fighter. And there was a couple people saying, like, oh, man, like, what's going on? Like, you're stealing the moves. You're copying. You're tracing and drawing the animations. And people are like, no, it's just, it's inspiration. These games are, are built on inspiration. So for it to have, you know, inspirations from other things is, well, quote, unquote, inspired. That's the fun thing about these games, because I have, you know, zero real worry. Like, I can just keep playing and have fun. I can talk about stuff. My views on media. Okay, so we're gonna... Yeah, I, I would assume by expert they would they would have said you should know how to do the, 
the infinite combo there, and from that, be able to, uh, you know, beat this in time. Can I not jump off that wall? Is that wall not possible? Can I just... Okay, so now I have to... Oh, I wanted to go back and forth between them. That'd be so cool. Maybe I can if I go up. Nope. That wall doesn't count as a wall. Okay. So never mind what I said earlier about it's easier if they're around you to do the to do the the thing. It's super not. I mean, it is easier with one enemy. I'll say that for sure. Because you're you're gonna probably accidentally do the the throw on them. Oh my god! So many. Okay. So, okay, no, I do kind of take it back. There is a skill to doing this, right? Once you know this here. There is a skill. Okay. Yeah, the problem is if there's an enemy behind you, then you continue the combo, which you do not want. Okay, come on. Not like that. More lives. That's good. We're out of the 13. Ah! Okay. The double end war is scary. And I'll also say, uh, so far the music has been okay. It's not been as memorable as some tracks from, from Final Fight 1. In fact, I'd say that's kind of how it just kind of feels. It just kind of feels like a, like a DLC expansion almost, where it's like... Like, yeah, it's more, but the base game content feels better, right? I mean, then again, I am playing a Super Nintendo, you know, game versus an arcade game. So that is, that is you know, different. Nice. So yeah, Leon and Robert are US exclusive characters, huh? Kind of understandable why their poses and stuff are kind of feminine. You, do you see what I mean? Now that's been pointed out. You kind of see it. I'm happy that we've come around with like, yeah, no, we should be able to beat up women in video games. It's super fine. For a while it was up there with like children, where it's like, no, you can't. Now, I mean, children for a long time, though, lasted way longer where they're like, no, you actually... You actually can't do that. Right, but now now it's fine. Now you'll play a game and you will absolutely get to throw hands with a child. Okay, we're 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 really starting to get the hang of the timing there. I say as I literally screw it up as soon as I do it, but it's going better. Okay. Okay. One, two, one, two. Nope. We're nearing the end anyways. I mean, you could tell because the video length. I can't. God, imagine if it's like, you did good. Now play second lap for the true ending. I wouldn't. I would just stop there. I, d I am not a big fan of when games do a second lap unless there is some notable differences, you know? I mean, at, at, at least if it needed a second lap, let me pause... Go do the laundry, all that stuff. I mean, I guess I could pause, but let me save my progress. Mom won't let me keep the Super Nintendo on all night. 
God, remember when that was a thing? Okay. We're going in. Okay. We busting in. Very cool empty barrel. I love it. Sorry, an oil drum. Okay. It's almost worth it to just end with, with the spin kick, just so I can clear out rooms, you know? I mean, I have unlimited HP. Well, not unlimited HP, but yo, my dude's flickering. I have unlimited lives. See, how much damage does it do? Seems to do a good amount. Stop that. Stroop it. Stop it. Yeah, since these guys can block, they are a little annoying, huh? I guess, though, if they can block, that means they can be grabbed easier, though, right? Stop. Stop! Never mind, these guys might be the worst. At least the Andwars are, like, big, dumb, easy to, 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 to hit oafs. These fellers are like, we are going to block and make your life hell. In a game where we can't even block, huh? Oh my god, there's another. Oh my god, how many are there? Please. Watch it be like, secretly you have to defeat them all at the same- How many are there? How many are there? Just leagues of the same man. I feel like these games usually try and keep it where at the beginning you're clearly facing only one of the enemy and it's like, oh, is this the same guy? You know, is this, is this just him over and over? And then later on they drop all pretenses. They're like, yeah, you're going to fight the same guy three at a time. And it's all, all of their names are going to be the same thing. They're all going to be Atlas or Johnny. It just is what it is. Hey, we did it. Shoot. Why do you not play shoot games? Why you play old, bad, baby game? And one other thing I will deeply apologize for, and I will actually, if I watch any Let's Player, I will absolutely pick up on every one of their speaking eccentricities and incorporate it into my lexicon. Um, all of, all of playing the MC, you know, it's like it just, it is what it is. Which, I mean, I guess that's just how language works though, right? Okay. Shout outs to the guy who's out there documenting every time a female character gets shocked in a video game and you can see their skeleton. You probably have a problem, but I'm not going to be the one to stop you, buddy. I mean, it's, uh, it's a database, all right. I like when they put secret funny things in the, the skeleton. Like when there's like a fish bone in the hair or something. It's silly. It's funny. All right. Flick is just like he looks like a guy who's supposed to be there to like fix your pipes or something. Like what are you doing, buddy? Okay, I feel like we are must be approaching the end as soon as we get up these stairs. Right? I'm just I'm feeling the time out, you know? Is this going to be a room where every mook comes out at us? They're all going to be attacking us. Let's see here. Okay. Again, just use this because I can. Ooh, Elias here is kind of boosted with his HP, huh? Oh yeah, we're getting like, we're getting the every mook room. We're getting the room where they all come after me. gonna kill yep again I feel like adding extra special moves or, or some sorts of like platforming it would provide a bit more depth overall the final fight one and two have so far been quite basic
in terms of their general structure. And I would like a bit more. All right. Oh, no, we're not done. We do have theme of thunderstorm in Tatami. <gasps> Yo, the mask, the Hanya mask. Is it going to come to life? Is it going to start flying around the screen? What's going on? It is funny, these all these identical guys with similar names. Although Joe dies in one hit, pretty much. Joe is... Is there a name for that type of enemy? The one who runs in quickly and then immediately disappears in a belt action game? Do we have do we have a name for them? An official canon name? Radio. Does the radio just give points? I feel like there's no positive thing that a radio would give us. It'd be cool if it changed to like a Final Fight 1 song. But we're not in the era yet where there's the idea of nostalgia, right? We don't have the idea of playing a song from a previous game to elicit the emotions, right? That that concept came out in like the PS1 era, it feels like. PS1 to late PS2 era, right? Where you'll play a game and then they'll do something to elicit, an, you know, a response by showing it in maybe the original graphics. I guess the, the first one I can think of with that is when you, you know, turn into 8-bit Mario in uh, Mario RPG there, right? Like, that that's an example there of, you know, using the nostalgia for you. Um, another example there is, like, uh, seeing the, the NES sprites in Symphony of the Night, right? Like, that's 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 the idea of, like, that, that real... The first real times we had, like, nostalgia baiting. And now it's like super different. Now, now if we if we see a flashback, we want to see it in classic graphics. I mean, Final Fantasy 16 looks to be one of the most graphically like crazy games ever, and yet the on the menus it's still the Final Fantasy 6 sprites, and like we love that. We really do love that. We're really all here for that. I I love that. I love reminding, especially people who might be new gamers, that you know, hey. We, we, we love these old games for a reason, and we will absolutely continue to play them. Alright, is that it? No? Alright, I feel like this game is st it's starting to wear out a bit of its welcome. Just a smidge. Just a touch. So who's going to be the bad guy, I wonder? I actually have no idea. Because we're in Japan, so it's not going to be Belger, right? have to see. Watch it be like Shin Belger. Watch it be like Shin Damned. I can't believe Damned is is in Street Fighter 6 and I can't believe they brought Lil Wayne just because he kind of resembles like Damned with the with the blonde, you know, blonde hairdo. Like that's wild. Very excited to wake up at 5 a.m. to watch Lil Wayne tell me how to throw a Hadoken. It's exciting. What a time to be alive. I want Lil Wayne to tell me about his hooves. If you know, you know. Okay, come on in so I can attack you. The dude's kind of got, even got Hagar's stance, huh? Just a little bit. Alright, let's... One thing I will say, I needed to teach my students about a, a ballad. And I absolutely played for them The Ballad of Mike Hagar, which if you've never watched, I highly recommend. It is incredible. It is a, a, a masterpiece. That's meat. Neat. Some meat. Okay. Come on. Nice. There we go. Trying to keep him like mid screen here. Okay. Ooh, that's tough with the timing to get them both, you know, kind of there. Okay. Ooh, 
Ooh, yeah, because the timing on that's that's a little... You gotta sync them up perfectly. Yo, with the buster. I was trying... Oh, it's really difficult if there's a bunch of them, huh? I would love to see a, like, a no-hit task of this. Oh, wait, can I, can I, like, jump kick into the wall and then... Oh my god, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. I could go like, watcha, watcha. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, that's fun. And just pow, 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 you know? Pow, 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 pow. I'm unstoppable until I face the wrong direction. Okay. We're nearly there. Come on, guys. Just, just end war left. Come on. Come on. There we go. So. I was going to say, we got to break that. That's clearly where we need to go. If it's geese, I swear to God. Retu? Who is Retu? Oh, frick! Wait, I sort of know this guy. Isn't he in the background in Street Fighter uh, Cross Tekken? The Mad Gear stage? Which, I mean, yeah, makes sense. Is he just a weeb also? And of course he's based on the first boss. The one that sucked. Okay. Retu. That doesn't feel like it'd be his proper name. I feel like there's another name there. Like in Japanese. It feels like it's missing something. Right? That's just his full name. It's kind of a strange one. Okay. He looks a bit like... Sigma from Mega Man X, you know? Like, he looks exactly like Sigma. That's strange. It is punk glam rock Sigma, huh? And he's also popping hurricane kicks, huh? Retu, the lost, you know, Antetsuken master? And yeah, his little hops are a bit weird. Like, his directly vertical hurricane kick. Very annoying. Very annoying. Okay. You almost just want to be away from him right when he gets up. I'm gonna try and try and do my combo on him. Nope. Not that combo. I wonder if he's also missing, like, a meat cleaver or something. Feels like he's not fully... Maybe he has a second phase when he gets down to his regular health? I don't know, but he feels not fully formed. You know? Let's see. I mean, mind you, again, it is because I have unlimited lives, so I'm in no... no worry. Okay. That little hop back kick sucks. Yeah, that is a proper hurricane kick, huh? My man has so many hurricane kicks. Okay, so we still got knocked out there for some reason. Come on. And say, don't get close to him when he's doing that, because there's no point. You will get hit. Right? If, if, he, if he's getting up, he will hurricane kick. Wake up hurricane kick is a good technique. I say, knowing it's actually super not. Okay, final, final phase. He's going to start doing some crazy shenanigans. Come 
mean, just 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 the speed at which he hurricane kicks, you know. Okay. Boy, and the hitbox on it. I don't even know how to effectively like counter it, other than just stay away and wait for him to finish it. Okay. Nearly there. Kind of hit him twice there somehow. What if I can do the do the the crazy kicks again on the wall there? Let me try that. Oh no! Do the wa pow, wa pow, wa pow, wa pow, wa pow. It's not working. Okay, the crazy kicks are not worth it. And he's super invincible during that too. Nearly done, buddy. You know what? I'm 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 gonna use his own kick against him, buddy. This is this is. Well, there we go. Sent flying. Round six clear. That was very short. Daddy. Rena. Oh, Maki. I'm so happy to see you. You must have had a hard time finding us. <laughs> the two men. When my daughter Jessica was kidnapped, Guy helped me find her. Now I have repaid that debt and crushed the Mad Gear. Thank you for saving me and my father. I want to tell Guy all about this, but unfortunately he is still in training. Oh, Guy. With Zeku. That what? Hyper Mickey. Oh, it's Hyper Bengi. That's not Bengus, is it? Trying to look for names here. Ryotaru's Mama. Hidep. Chupon. Looking for any names that I might recognize from ye olde Capcom here. Bun Bun! Yo, it's my boy Bun Bun! When in doubt, Bun Bun is there. Much thanks to Fuji, Kaji, Takapi, Sichan, Ushi. Yeah, I'm real. Wow, they're really obscure with their names uh, this time. I don't know how I'm going to thank all of your friends, but I'll start by thanking you. Please finish your training soon so that you can be together. I'll always love you. Love, Rena. So that you can be together? Thanks, my friends. I owe you one. Don't worry, Rena. I'll be home soon. Isn't he not playable in... Is he playable in 3? I don't think he is. I don't think he is at all. Thank you for playing. You are a super player. You know when video games say that? I feel it for real. I feel I feel it deeply, you know? Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Well, it was Final Fight 2. Um, yeah, I can see what when people say that it's it doesn't seem as amazing as regular Final Fight, right? Um, but it is something that I think is pretty good. Now, uh, let's go take a look at some of these, some of the stuff here for Street Fighter V, because, uh, I'm, like, the Street Fighter V encyclopedia and stuff for them, because I'm curious. So give me a moment. Okay, so some information about Street Fighter II. Uh, sorry, whoa, Final Fight Two. Because I'm on the Street Fighter wiki, that's why I said that. It was never released in arcade and was set for the, uh, Nintendo Entertainment, Super Nintendo. So Belger died. Mad guys presumably destroyed. There, look at all this story. I mean, yeah, I guess so. Ret two there. So gameplay can be played with two simultaneously. Each have their own fighting style. Maki is the weakest, but oh, that's why it took forever to kill enemies. She's the weakest, but with fastest attacks. Um, can grab and throw opponents. Use various two by fours. So rounds. So we got the bosses. We got Wan Wan, Freddy, Bratkin, Philippe. Relento and Retu. Difference is Juan Juan no longer has a meat cleaver, and yeah, Mary and Eliza were replaced with Robert. A small sample of Ryu's Street Fighter 2 stage theme can be heard on the character select, huh? In addition, a small sample of the Get Equipped with Special can be heard within the character select. Interesting. Yeah, Chun Li and Yao, we saw them there. Um, so, 
I'm curious about. So let's go to some of these bosses here and see about them. So there's there's the modern Wan Wan. Large, muscular Chinese man, white and black Mandarin clothing. He's a black Fu Manchu personality due to being a sailor. He has a hearty and strong personality. Gourmet, enjoys cooking. He likes Mishin noodles. Considers the entire Hong Kong harbor his turf. He has the 800 dragons. He likes alcohol and eating snacks with tea and dislikes food with a low degree of freshness. I see. So he's only in Final Fight 2. Uh, wield a meat cleaver in the original Japanese, but was removed. Despite this, the artwork as some still has the cleaver. It says, be careful not to get too close to slice them up. To this day, there's no official explanation, but most likely is the uh, Nintendo censorship policies, right? Yeah, so he doesn't have the cleaver anymore. Okay. Freddy. So yeah, okay, Freddy looks a lot less like Zangief here. Um, oh, never mind. Looks a lot like Zangief's. Um, wears dark green gloves. So he's only in this game as well. He was a member of the United States Marine Corps and opposed a corrupt officer for his own personal gain. Uh, during an operation, he accidentally killed the officer with a fake gun, which led to his discharge. That's a lot. Um, hired by Retu. Use many of the same moves that Anduar does. Guile or a man with the same haircut can be seen cheering him on. Yeah, it's a bit strange. I don't think Guile would. The sound he makes when defeated was changed in the international version and may, may be based on the late pro wrestler Jeep Swenson. Let's see this guy. Sure. In full Bane makeup with his parents? What? What? He's best known as Bane in Batman and Robin. Oh, interesting. Huh. Okay, didn't know about that. Bratkin, wow, you look a lot less like a uh, crazy Frankenstein man now. Serves as the game's third boss. Heavily muscled man with a noticeable underbite. He wears a belt under his shirt because he doesn't know how to dress himself to his childlike mentality. Despite his physically opposing appearance, Bratkin, oh, it's not, it's not like, not like Frankenstein. It's, it's Bratkin because he's simple minded and like a child. Okay. He uses Bratkin Punch and Bratkin Kick. Uh, okay, so yeah, but based on Frankenstein was absolutely the thing. So he was Frankensteinish, and now he's kind of not. Very interesting. Okay. Philippe. There's Philippe, yep. Yep, sure. Uh, he's, he's British. Slenderman with the clown characterization. Uh, retains a similar one. He uses a black riding crop instead of a king. He's a ringmaster for the R&B circus. Okay. No real any facts about him. He is just a clown. Okay. Relento's Relento. Yeah, there's going to be a, there's going to be a lot about him, but we know for sure that 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 this is him, right? Um so it just says uh the industrial stage and by extension Relento were excluded from the SNES version of Final Fight. Oh, because of this, developers was the SNES one, which saw fit to... Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. In Final Fight 2, he is the boss of the fifth stage. His general appearance and fighting style remained unchanged, and he's the only returning enemy character besides the Andor family. As an in-joke, the Game Boy Advance version, Final Fight 1, which included all of the stages and the alpha sprites of Guy and Cody's bonuses, had an interaction with Alpha, Cody, and Relento, where Cody says that he doesn't remember going to this path. Oh, interesting. That's kind of fun. That's kind of funny. I like that. Okay, so here's Retu. Okay, yeah, that's Retu. That's Retu, all right. Um, does he not appear in... Huh. I thought he appeared in, in uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken, but I guess not. He wears a full Kabuki costume. He wears Geita. He's the fifth tallest character. How big is he? Seven foot four. Jeez. He receives a redesign now wearing gold gold, uh, gold gauntlets and wearing a horned headband. His Geita are now made of metal. Yeah, it's, a good, it's a pretty good. Mysterious past, uh, reforming, death of Belger, cause the collapse. Uh, his signature move seems to be very Ashen on the Tatsumaki, except that he is formerly ground with a semi-fixed leg. Okay, yeah, that's him. That's him indeed. Uh, otherwise, let's take a look at some of the enemies. So we got the enemies here. Atlas, Bull, Elias. Let's see here, because again, they all have pages, and I love that. Liza and Robert, they're on the same page, huh? Joe, Johnny, Mark, Mary and Leon, Mick, and Schutt. Oh, it's doing too much. 
And yeah, we'll also grab Carlos's page. Carlos Miyamoto. Interesting. Okay. Okay, and we'll also grab Mackie's page because I want I want to read a bit about her. So we'll go to where's Mackie? Okay, so we'll, we'll read Mackie's after there. So Atlas, palette swap Johnny or some minor enemies. Likes good women and alcohol. Dislikes working. Let's see here. Characters derived from Atlas. Backstory is evocative of actor Donald Gibb, who co-starred with Bloodsport, and of course Van Damme is, uh, is of course, Guile. Promising youth, sometime he gained an interest in sports, came to a screeching halt, he joined Mad Gear. Okay. Bull? Minor enemy. Oh my god, yo, my dude's from Canada! Yo, my dude! Nice. There's another one. Okay. Street brawling. He likes animals and dislikes lumbago. What the frick is a lumbago? Excuse me. What is that word? What's a lumbago? What is that? Oh, it's a back. He has back pain. Okay. Um, despite his appearance as a kind-hearted man, and has a wife and daughter. Oh, nice. He he injured his back while working, so he's considered changing his job. I feel for Bull. But dude, just he's just having a life, you know. Elias there. Yep. He likes karaoke and dislikes fat meat. What? Okay. Tall, lanky man, good at fortune telling. Fights with a rod. There's... Oh, his name was Elec, not Flick? Well, that makes more sense. And look at him. Yeah. Short, fat man. Hey, come on. Elec longed for his father, who worked for a power station in Metro City, so he studied electrical engineering by himself. He likes getting into mischief. Wait, around the time of Street Fighter V, Elec has been hanging around with local fellows, having been had a hand in the wrongdoings. Are you, wait, what? Street Fighter V characters. Apparently, okay. He's still around. He's still around, and he's just, he's getting into mischief. Huh. Elijah. He's the one who explodes, right? He likes his mother, at least. Um, due to his no-nonsense, long trustworthy, quarrel. Right. Is this is this the one? No, it's the other guy. Okay, no, no. The one who sets himself on fire is one of the, is Joe, right? Final fight character, he's a swap of Elias. He likes alcohol, dislikes pickles. Okay. Fast, aggressive, carries a baton. Yeah, so this is Elisa. Right? Got replaced. Interesting. She's looking for a lover. I mean, she's kind of cute. She likes... New Wave of British Heavy Metal. Okay. Jack? Look at this guy! How can you hate this dude? How can you hate this guy? He's just a dude. He likes collecting vintage clothes and mornings is bad at waking up. He's concerned with hair loss. He's just like me for real. Here's Joe. Joe explodes and disappears. He likes red things and dislikes moisture. Likes red things and eats tomato sauce every day. His family is strict with his studies and discipline. Joe's actually a dangerous man. He was arrested for arson a couple times. Joe, like the variations of Hollywood from the original Final Fight, runs on the screen just long enough to throw a mock Maltov and then dies. Johanny. Yeah, Atlas there. Uh, let's see. Just, just distinctly loud voice. He likes tomato juice and dislikes dark places. Okay. M Mark. Okay. We're... we're huh. Similar to Vega, Mark loves beautiful things. Is he a... Is he an Okama? Is that what we're doing? Interesting. Due to influence a movie he saw, he wants to become an actor. Having a difficult light, he gave up on the gang. Did he... Did he have... That's a very different interpretation, I feel. This... Like, this is like scruff in a way that looks like manly, whereas this is scruff in a way that looks... I mean, I mean, honestly, it looks like, yeah, like an Okama. Interesting, if that's the case. I don't know if they went for that or not. 
Mary, again, one who doesn't exist anymore, got replaced, likes jogging, dislikes cockroaches. Um, oh, in this series, Leon is her brother. Okay. So they made them brother and sister. That's kind of a fun way to do that. Likes exercising, strong legs, powerful kicks. Mick or Mike? Yo, this guy. Look at this dude. Stoic man with a unique aesthetic sense. Shaved. Shaving himself in the bathroom to maintain his skin head. It's over the confident. Muscle training listening to French hip-hop. There's a bad leakage problem in his apartment. I love these stupid facts that no one cares about. I love these so much. Shut. Hello, it's shut. United Kingdom. He likes the early scene of punk and dislikes difficult things. You know, the later scene of punk. But he's rather jovial. In his youth, shut was a part of a punk band called Big B and the Bullheads. Sorry, that has a page? He, that this has a page B oh British punk band blue guy spike monkey and brilliance they are birdies friends short used to be a member when they were younger Ray is a big fan of the band who the frick is Ray who's Ray Ray is a character from Final Fight who first appeared in Final Fight 3 okay okay so Carlos he appeared in Final Fight 2 as one of the three characters the other two being Maki okay Carlos here, apparently he's heavier in the Western versions. Um, birthplace forgotten. Wait, birth date forgotten, but he's from Brazil. Interesting. Collecting swords, beans, chili beans, taco, blades, chili beans, tacos, dislikes mad gear and raw fish. He's uh, on friendly terms with Maki and Hagar for rivalry. Okay. Sexual. Oh, that's really sad. That's really sad. He does cameo in the Street Fighter cartoon. He appears in Alex's ending... He was seen in uh, Lucia's Street Fighter V root ending. For some reason, he appears to like Lucia's bad cooking. Oh, nice. I gotta probably play that after. His name codes are Miyamoto Musashi. Carlos makes a cameo on the Matcha Ring stage. Oh, wait, for real? Wait, actually? I didn't know that he actually appeared in Street Fighter VI there. Oh, well, that's the ending. I'm not gonna look at that. Cameo on the Udon comics. The Udon comics are a whole thing. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so then Maki. Uh, sister to his fiance, Rena. So yeah, Maki here. So she does use Bushinryu ninjutsu. Likes motorcycles, tapioca, and fighting. Got a bunch of rivals. Uh, oh, Zeku's her master and Guy's the fellow apprentice. That's the relationship. Maki's hair is dyed blonde. Since... Uh, CBS 2 was revamped in terms of weaponry. She now has red tennis shoes. We have a Tonfa, which was her pickup weapon. We have casual attire, so we got relationships there. Let's see here. Background. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, CBS 2 makes her crossover appearance in CBS 2. Apparently... Oh, right! She, I did read Sakura Ganbaru, and she does appear there, and I was surprised there. Um, appears in Damned's Ending in Final Fight Revenge. Oh, frick, I forgot about Final Fight Revenge. Uh, uses Bushinryu. Moveset was expanded upon, like she has the Re Repu Kyaku, a spin kick which takes health from uh, her from upon usage. Speed and mobility. She has manual dashing. Oh, she's one of those types. Okay. I see. Maki asks Cody if she's familiar with Guy before inquiring. This suggests she's never met Cody. Uh, Maki has a special intro upon re encountering Relento. He throws a knife at her, but she swats away and shields herself against a grenade. Maki asks Relento if he even tries, and then they begin to fight. In the manual, Maki's intended origin as a former delinquent was erased in favor of describing her as a peaceful individual. SNK went back on that. Uh, this is demonstrated by her voice clips where she speaks in rough, unladylike, and curses. Oh, I love her now. Maki's slot was there for Lin Kurosawa, but due to Lee. Oh, whoa! There are also pl plans to give Maki an identical moveset to Lin as a way to include her regardless. Interesting. Interesting. Well, that's a bit sad. I didn't know about that either. Finally, let's go to the cutting room floor. See how we got the differences here. Um, yeah, so we got the, the worldwide differences. The KO screams can still be heard. The Chinese characters were above Capcom were changed. Sound test goes up for some more for sound clips that aren't there. Apparently, hidden behind foreground objects, you can sometimes find an invincibility item. You'll never see what it looks like, but it does have a little Genryusai icon. Okay, interesting. 
apparently there's two more Andwars that were meant to be. Oh, right, there's the Andwars. I should look at their page, too. Because they're probably, yeah, the Andor family. Let's go to that. So we have Andor in pink. Andor Jr. in red. Father Andor, yellow. Uncle Andor, and Grandpa. Okay. Okay. Uh, so... Hugo... Oh, wait. Oh, wait, is and wait, is Andor actually Hugo? Hugo? Oh! Oh, okay. Also, I don't like that look for him. Okay, so the pink one is him. Interesting. G Andor appears in the Mad Gear hideout. Three of the Andors, or Andore, it should be, it said. And Andore Jr. makes a cameo in Street Fighter VI. Yo, let's go. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here's my boys. Okay, cool. What is this? Oh, that's just yeah, that's just footage of the, 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 the game there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Neat. I like this. I like learning about the history of these characters. Because, again, we're going to be seeing them in Street Fighter VI. So, uh, yeah. Sounds good. So, next time, uh, we'll be back with having seen the Street Fighter VI new trailer. And we're going to check out Final Fight III. Because I want to and no one can stop me. So, thank you all for watching, guys. I'm sure this is a little appeal to about seven of you. Uh, and we will see you next time for some more. Ciao.